Hey everybody, David from ScreenBeam here. Um, some of us have been working from home for a while now. Many are just now getting used to the process of how to set up the work from home space. I really wanted to share just one hack and really a simple thing, but to help those who are just getting used to this, maybe a way to um, not get exactly to duplicate what's happening in your office or maybe in your classroom, but really just to show you a couple of things you may not have thought of yet, thought of yet if you're trying to work from home and set up your space and maybe a space that normally isn't meant to be an office. Um, using the Screen Beam 750, which is a really affordable Windows 10 compatible device, uh, you can quickly wirelessly connect to any monitor, even if you have a VGA monitor laying around. Uh, this one's an HDMI, but it comes with a, a VGA to HDMI dongle um, and really is an easy connection. So I'm going to connect really quickly here at Windows K and I'm going to find the screen beam here and select it and it'll come up on my screen. And really it's not really about uh, this particular connection, it's more about a couple of hacks that might affect you if you're in a meeting situation or in a collaboration situation with your students. So um, here I've got a Teams call going on. I'm gonna throw that uh, up here, but I'm actually going to show you that I'm in a Teams call and I've got that going on, but I wanna share my screen. I wanna share something that's going on on my screen here. Well, I wanna be able to write on a whiteboard. Well, in that case, if I share my screen, it's kind of hard to write because if I'm writing here and I'm pushing the screen out, it's going to fall over on me. But if I'm wirelessly connected, I can easily, you can see I can pick it up, I can start writing, I can share this screen, and I can instantly start notating on this screen what's going on. You can see that as I duplicate this, and you can see it for the rest of, rest of the world, if I switch over to duplicate mode, now I've got these notes, I may be giving some information that I want to be able to share, and now I have this uh, flexible environment to be able to work in uh, with my device. The next thing though is if I turn on my camera, for example, and I want to share my camera with the class. Well, if I'm tethered to the, to the desk and I'm, my device, or I pick up my whole device and all the cables are there, it's hard for me to do that. But let's say I want to show something about a manipulative that, that I've got or something that I've got to show or a model that I'm showing everybody. I want to be able to show and talk about that. Maybe I want to do some different things with it um, and, and duplicate that for the rest of the class to be able to see. It's a very simple process, but all I do is turn on my camera and now I've actually got some freedom to move around and have that flexibility with it. And so it gives me that really nice uh, option. The other thing and really the last hack in this, in this piece is being able to get up and walk away quickly. And that I think is a valuable tool for a number of different reasons. I can pick my device up, I can leave my workstation, somebody else can come and use it if they need to. Um, but then I can come and sit maybe where I'm a little more comfortable. Uh, come right back to my workstation. Maybe I can go out on the porch. Maybe I need to rush out uh, of the room quickly to get a more quiet location for a call. And uh, right now, dinner's being made right now, so maybe a few things going on that I need to be able to go and take care of somewhere else. Um, it's a great way to be able to do that without worrying about all the cables, leaving dongles laying around that might get picked up and moved and then lost and then uh, or put in a very special place. So really just uh, some quick things that ScreenBeam might be able to help out with in that situation. Maybe you have a 750 laying around. If you don't have one, pick one up. They're really affordable. And uh, take it and use it, and hopefully it'll be beneficial to you. Uh, check out the other videos for a couple other hacks that we have set up for your work from home. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay safe out there, and uh, hope to see you soon. Hey, everybody. Please like and subscribe. Hopefully you enjoy these work from home hack videos from ScreenBeam. Um, you may see more from Parker, Megan, Jay, or myself, or my child screaming really loud. It's work from home after all. Uh, until then, stay safe, take care. We'll see you later.